Well, hey there, Shuby Doodlers, and welcome to the third and final part of uh, Drawing the City with Sarah Taylor Silverwood. But let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Again. Well, here we are in the centre of Birmingham. This is Digbeth, and this is the church, which is oh, 150, 200 years old, so probably 150. And then here we are, the very, very new. And this is the Selfridges department store. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but it's rather fun. So here we are at Selfridges. Let me see, this is what I've done. It's a bit messy. And Sarah has been busy cross hatching like mad. Yeah, I'm Come a cross hatching maniac on this <laughs> one. It's not cross hatching, it's just hatching, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. It's nice to have a different view actually. Got some little people going in now as well. Yeah. To fill up the uh, space. But I was worried you were going to kind of do an aerial view of this from your imagination. <laughs> so, well, there's maybe a few, um, few little changes made, but it's pretty yeah. a bit more accurate this one. And I'm using a slightly thicker pen from yep. before, which is you can see. Yes. Goodness. Yeah. So this one's 0.1 still, so still really thin. Yeah. Really fine, but... Well, turn um, it back again, sorry, I wasn't... Yeah, yeah. Um, so with that one, it's almost like using a pencil that it's so fine. Yeah. Because you build up, you can build up layers of ink and create tone in that way, but this yeah. one's much more graphic. Yes. Um, so you can add in really sort of bold lines yeah. with this, which is quite a nice contrast actually. And I've been much more scrappy, so I've finished. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas you've still got another I two know. hours to I go. I really have I need to speed up. I do like skyscrapers. I quite like the idea of doing windows as well because you can kind of, you can hide things behind the windows and you can quite often see things behind them which you can draw as well and that I quite like that way of patterning things but it's quite refreshing to do something different actually that's what's so strange about when you start drawing these at these landscapes and you start to look um, in really detailed spots and you'll draw you kind of really get to know it and then suddenly see a window and then you look really closely at that window like you can see up there there's a figure mm. and you think no, nobody can re nobody's looking at them but they can see everything and it's the same that we're doing I suppose we're looking at everybody and and drawing them it could be seen as being a bit voyeuristic <laughs> <laughs> and I imagine somewhere up there was a kind of place where people can sit and a lot of people are probably up there wondering what we're doing yeah. and while we're drawing them they're probably got their cameras out and taking photos of us Oh, the CCTV up there as well, yeah. Now here we were discussing about resting your hand on the page or hovering. So I tried to draw this little hovering, which I'm not happy with. I'm not happy hovering. I'm not a happy hoverer. This little bird came along and sat on the kind of a glass fence. And how are you doing, Sarah? Doing okay. I've decided to go with bigger pens and not to worry about it too much and just get a drawing done because you were beating me in all these drawings so I'm <laughs> oh, just not worrying about it and getting a nice sketch down which is actually quite nice because I've been able to just get a load of details in yeah. and then these other ones I can kind of use that as reference maybe later yeah. on to kind of fill it back in maybe to the level of detail of this first one Yeah. so it's been quite a nice, a, quite a nice experiment of studying drawings Doing in the afternoon it. yeah yeah <laughs> not worrying about it it's like a warm-up yeah it's like a warm-up for a marathon uh. so that's quite a nice feeling actually it's really lovely to be sitting out here and just drawing for the yeah. afternoon what is really really lovely day a lovely day helps doesn't it it does not it yeah i could do a little pan here because the sun is now just Bad. playing on the clock isn't it? so we haven't even drawn the <laughs> The old, no, I don't know. Or do you think they're going to kick us out? <laughs> well, here we are. This is my church. We have joined this very, very, very quickly. And this is the church here. Because we thought, we've got all the old, uh, the new over here, so we better do a quick drawing of the new. 
Sarah has been drawing away here. Yeah, just a very quick um, sketch of this church using a felt tip. So your pens have been getting bigger and bigger. And they have I've gone from a 0.05 <laughs> to a sorry, 0.05. Yeah, yeah, and now we're on. This must be about a, a ten. <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> and I, I think we're, um, I think actually we've been putting a lot of concentration in during the afternoon and we're just getting a bit kind of crazy yeah. now. Just scribbling. Yeah, scribbling, I think. Yeah, <laughs> which is really nice. It's really nice actually because we can get a, um, like, a really quick memory of down of that yeah. view and not have to worry about it too much. And I now know that I'll, I'll just remember um, this particular cup of tea in front of this yeah. particular view. But it's also about not being precious, isn't it? Because exactly, it's a sketchbook yeah. and, exactly. it, and it is no. putting down a memory. And you've got a really nice drawing, you've got a kind of a fine drawing you've done earlier on, then you mix the whole lot together, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not to get all wound up about it being perfect. No. <laughs> it's really good just to fill up the pages a bit and then you can look back and see what you've done and sort of remember how the different you can kind of look at your different styles of drawing as the yeah. days progress it's quite a nice way of yeah. doing things mm. and i think that's probably it really it's nearly six o'clock in the evening and um, we have been drawing and talking and discussing putting the world to right i think we've pretty much put the world right. to right and um i had a fantastic afternoon it's been fun and a privilege to be drawing with you today. And we've actually oh, got an idea that we would kind of like to do together, haven't we? we but have. we won't say. No, we won't say. It's a secret, <laughs> it's a secret idea. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but but that's I think how things happen, isn't it? You're kind of sitting there talking, and then suddenly an idea comes together, and we so we might actually put in a proposal to work together <laughs> on a project, which would be quite yeah, fun. That I would think. Be it fun. would be quite fun. Yeah. So um, yeah, get, watch this space. So thank you all for watching. And if you're in Chicago <laughs> next month, <Yeah. laughs> you, might, you might bump into Sarah. Yeah. Go and have a look at her website. Yeah. Hi, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, uh, go and see this other video of Sarah and I drawing skyscrapers or just have a go at the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you are subscribed for new drawings every Monday and Friday and go and have a look at my website, Shoe Rain and Drawing. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs>